Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and uh, we're going to look in on the big boy today. And we're going to keep with our um, most recent typical thing that we're doing, and that is trying to harvest a little bit to make room. Because my, my food scrap intake is um, expanding. So as I'm taking in more food scraps, I'm going to need more room, more worms. So I'm going to try and take out at least a gallon of castings every time, if possible. Um, if the castings start to ball up, then of course I'll, I'll quit the sifting. And I am using the, the quarter inch so, of course, the cocoons will be probably coming through the castings. This is less, this is what's left in there. Obviously, some good sized worms. Mulch. Looks like some melon rind. But even if I only take out a gallon here and there, it helps keep the worms focused on doing things that are needing to be done instead of mucking around in castings and food that's already been finished. So it's kind of a win-win. So like I said, if I get down to the part where it's too wet, I will stop. I don't have a spare, um, dang it, you can't see what I'm doing at all, but I don't have a spare tray right now. Let's see, can you see this? All right, well, that's enough of that. We'll do more next time. So I did feed at this far end, so let's look at that. Always on the lookout to get rid of stickers and, and weird things that don't belong. All right, we'll take you down to this end. And let's look and see what the feeding did from last time. You can almost see like a mold or something on the top here. Give them a pretty good feeding, so I'm hoping we'll see a good worm ball. Do my excavation a little slowly. Already seeing some worms, but nothing we'd consider a worm ball. All right, now this is where it could get ugly. I did feed, uh, I think, broccoli and stuff last time. Um, yeah, that's doesn't smell fabulous, but that is a nice mess of worms there. All the way through. Break up this orange meat, it'll make it smell better. So yeah, it is a little funky, and it hasn't been the 10 days that I told myself that I should wait. But I can't resist the worm balls. I need, I need to see what my little guys are doing. So yeah, that actually did really help. I just broke up that orange, and now everything smells like, you know, um, orange cleaner. So that's nice. All right, well, these guys are doing lovely. Kind of shove them and, and all their food back in there, but we've got a, a nice number of worms over here. Um, so let me flip the camera around, and then we'll dig through the middle to see what the middle is doing. I think I took all of the food out of the middle previously in favor of, of putting it all in the same place. But this is getting to be the time of the year and it's been raining nonstop here. This has been the weirdest summer um, 
for weather. I mean, normally when you get to July in Illinois, you can count on there being basically a drought. Like the 4th of July, you know, is usually the cutoff point. You don't usually see a whole lot of rain until September again, but it has been raining nonstop. So the humidity in the basement is just nuts. So I am doing a little bit more fluffing and being a little bit more religious about it. I didn't always used to do it every single time. But now with the humidity being what it is, I'm afraid the bin is going to get mucky. And, you know, like the one I just had to harvest via the water hose. I don't want this bin to do that because that's a lot of castings. Um, only having like 10 or 15 gallons of castings to do that to is one thing, but having to do it to 55 gallons, that would be a darn nightmare. Okay, so I'm not running into any food, but I am saying a nice concentration of worms all the way throughout. So I am going to, even though there's still food at the far end over there, I'm going to give them a good feeding again. Because the number of the worms in this bin, the population just seems to be exploding. Which is good because I am um, have somebody who's donating quite a bit in the share waste department. So I really do need to get the population up and going. Alright, let's look at the far end. So let me know what you think um, of this bin. If you had the space, would you do this? Um, or is this just too much, I mean, for what your project is? All right, I think it's time to take the eat my shirt string out. I think this is as far as the worms and other creatures can take it. Um, I think that the, the string, or thread or whatever you call it. I think it must be nylon or something. So that's all that is left. Make sure I don't have any worms in there. No, well, come on guys. Get with the program. Get out there. Oh, they just don't listen. Probably because they don't have any ears. Alright, I'm just going to lay this on top and hopefully they make the right decision. I mean, that's all we can hope for for our kids, right? my worm babies. Hope they make the right decisions. People babies, worm babies. You raise them up and hope they make the right choices. Alright, let's see. It's plastic from something. Alright, well, there is no food here, but there's still quite a bit of worms. So, let's see. Let's create a space over here and see what there is to eat. I think I'm going to put the sticks and the avocado pits over here because I think that's pretty much all I found in my travels throughout the rest of the bin is some sticks and avocado pits. For today's feeding we have watermelon Lots of watermelon. Banana peel. Tea bags. And oh my gosh, this is this wasn't even opened. Now I'm irritated with myself. It's like two bucks. Dang it. Okay, so that's that's not I mean this is not gonna smell bad until the point where I put the cabbage in there. So I'm going to have to make sure I cover that up really good. Alright. Alright. And if you hear that noise in the background, I'm always doing laundry when I'm doing my worm videos. I feel like I should be doing two things at once at all times. I think that was just the way I was brought up have to be multitasking no matter what. All right, and there we go. They have got their food at that end.
and they have their new food at this end and then this is just the worm highway all right, guys, well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.